living life, and this is one of our really best friends, Cassidy. Hi. We um, what are we doing? We are preparing to go set up our tent in the rain um, here in the Adirondacks in upstate New York, which is fantastic. So we drove, we left Philadelphia at 4:30 this morning. We did. That was early. It was very early. Mm -hmm. Um, but then we stopped and got some tea, so that made I think our hearts <laughs> joyful. So we just parked. We got our bear canister. We got our food all set up. Um, so it's like a little mini backpacking trip, yeah. which is so needed. And we're excited to share the journey with you. So here, here we, we are. Downside is it was just storming, so we likely won't be able to like light a fire there. I don't know if we'll be able to fire dry things, dry things to light a fire, but still pretty cool. So we are getting ready to set up shop in this really beautiful space next to this really beautiful lake. This is so exciting! Uh, one downside of the adventure is that it's been raining a lot here, so all of the material that's available on the ground is just soaking wet. So we made some friends, uh, we tag teamed, there happens to be a bunch of um, sort of dead trees around the lake, so we were able to uh, break down some of those branches and be able to use that to burn a fire, which is so exciting! So I did this all by myself, which is really nice. And then we've got some food here. Um, these are some grain bowl, I call them I call them meal packets actually. These are foods that I make when I am working as a flight attendant. Um, and I wrap them up in foil. They're super easy to freeze. It's um, they're grain bowls, so it's like quinoa, there's peas, there's you know all sorts of like different vegetables in them. on the last of our adventure. Mm -hmm. And as we were going up and down Indian Head last night, we're sort of like, who are we? What is sort of happening in the world? And we really came to be that like, the power of female friendships is yeah. so important. Yes. Hey, how's it going? It is day two. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon and we're walking. Yeah, so we are currently hiking up a long, dirt road so we can get to the trailhead. We are trying to go to a place called Indian Head. It's going to be like these mountains with this big river in between. So we mastered the campfire last night and then we're excited to check out the waterfalls today. It's going to be so fun. being able to find and honor those friendships that you're able to ebb and flow with so that you're both taking on supportive roles and hi I need help right now um, and you're kind of going back and forth between those two 
and also that you're able to really effectively communicate like hi I need help this is what I'm able this is what I need and the other person is able to say what can I offer you and I think we do a really good job of that Are. We are right next to this really beautiful waterfall and that's sort of behind us over here you can hear it and it just is so beautiful to be surrounded by this much nature and my heart is just so happy. And I think that that's, we're both like that in that way, that I feel like we're really good at communicating what we need and where our limits are and know that the other person also like loves us and cares for us so much yeah. that if somebody is snippy with us, it's like, okay, it's not because I did anything wrong. It's because all of these other external factors are happening. And I just feel like that is what makes our relationship so cool and so powerful yeah. and, and able to do hard things together. Which we have. We've traveled to... Several different countries oh together, a bunch of different cities um, in the States. Boston, Argentina. That's not a city. Hold on. Boston, the city. <laughs> <laughs> um, Buenos Aires. <laughs> there we go. We Chiang to, Mai. Yes. And then we d we're down in the south of Thailand and Krabi for a while. And it's not that things always like rainy and fun. We had to sleep in a car last night and <laughs> I was just no longer able to function and I completely just shut down. And I was like, Sarah, I can't do anything in anymore. And she's like, yes, I realized. And she was able to step up and set up our bed in the car. And I was like, I can boil water. That's what I can do right now. Um, yes. But we made it, we made it work. It's been really beautiful and great to build a friendship like this over the last seven years. Because um, when we, you know, when we both met, we were not these super self-aware people oh in our God. early 20s. <laughs> we were these people that were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> the world is falling apart around me and I don't remember what my name is. All the time. <laughs> and I really like the, I am here for you. What is your plan? What do you need? Mm -hmm. And I feel like we really do that for each other. That mm -hmm. it's like, it's not my job to be like, okay, you need to do blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah. And that will fix your life. It's like, no, 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 I'm here. I'm here for the hard conversations. I'm here to, to learn with you. Like there are so many incredible things you've taught about, taught me about the world. Um, and also just sort of, like bringing self-awareness and like making sure to take care of mental health things and so i love you very much i love you very much <laughs> we're gonna okay. hug and we're not gonna I can't fall get on up. the lake okay yay <laughs> even just that communicating i can't get up my I can't knee get up. i got it i got you <laughs> okay, that's